the Lord God bless all of us. Today is November 9th and I brought you 313th drop of the living water. Day by day, drop by drop, the water is collecting and we are living and changing, transforming our lives according to the word of God and transforming to be a Christ-like life. Got it? Right. So we are learning that we put wrong buttons into wrong buttonholes, wrong combination. So now he is untangling. He is removing the wrong things and fixing, replacing with the right things. Pride with all humility. And the second thing, stubbornness with gentleness. Impatient, ag aggressive with patience. And yesterday we learned that we need to forbear, forbearing each one another with love. With love. That is something very important, essential, but that is the missing part. What we are, what we are losing, the Lord God. Why the Bible says that, clearly says, God is love. Where there is no love, there is no God. If we abuse that word, love is, we... It means we abuse the Lord God. We use his name in vain. So we are, we are in trouble, my children. We are in trouble. Right. So up to that, we learn. And today, let's move on. Let's see the next one, the fifth one. He is listing a couple of things to be corrected in our lives. Right. So then uh, let's. Read the next verse. We are in Ephesians chapter 4. We read verse 2. And we found a couple of facts. Four facts. Now today let's see the fifth one. It is in verse 3. It says, Being diligent to persevere the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. That's where I want to emphasize. The highlighted word here is today, bond of peace peace. What does that mean? We have bonds, bondage, uh, relationships in simple language, relationships with many, many, many. Some relationships are good, positive and healthy. Some relationships are the opposite, not healthy at all, very negative and it doesn't, it never helps us. Those, what are those uh, negative relationships? I hate them. I hate her. I don't like her. Oh no, I don't want to talk with her. You know what? I have nothing to do with him. So these type of things, what is, these are bondage. We say that, listen to, listen to this very carefully. We say that, I have nothing to do with them. But it is a big bondage. Why? We don't talk with them because of anger, hatred, envy, anything. You can resentment, unforgiving, anything. But we still have that bondage. That's why we think of them. Oh, this person did this to me at that time, 2000 years ago. So we still remember and we keep it. Why? Because that is in our mental, in our mind. It is there somewhere. It is fixed. It is, it is format. It is registered in our mind. And when you go to sleep, it comes up in dreams. That's why when someone else talk about them, you take the phone and call and Talk about that person. Good things? No way. All bad things. All negative things. Why? Because we are still in bondage. We, this bondage, we maintain. We don't talk physically. We don't meet with them physically. We don't visit them. We have no peaceful bondage. But negative bondage. What happens when we have those things? The result is, if we have any negative bondage with anyone, 
unhealthy relationships with anyone. Maybe we don't talk, maybe we don't meet, yet we have the bondage. Bondage is always in mind. Whatever the relationship, where does we, where, where, it, where is it? Not in physical, but in mental, emotional. We also have relationship with everyone, all these type of people. When we have that, what happens? First thing, our mental health is challenged. Can't sleep, lose appetite, no peace. Listen to this. No peace, no love, no joy. Why? Because that hatred. Not only that, I'm telling you as a medical doctor. Next thing, it goes to the physical. It becomes physical. It gives you physical symptoms. Loss of appetites and um, sleep disturbances. Furthermore, blood pressure, high blood pressure, eczemas, asthma, breathing problems, all kinds of things are, will be, can be results of that negative bondage. So tonight, before we talk about that um, bondage of peace, bound in peace, before that, we need to get rid of this negative bondage. We have to cut this off. How? So before uh, I tell you the uh, psychological technique for that, counseling technique for that, I would encourage you, I would ask you, I would like to give you homework. Write a list. It would not, you, would, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't like it. Because you said, no, no, I have nothing to do with them. I know that is the word, but in the mind, in deep mind, you are bound with them. Write a list. At least if you have one person, write that down tonight and tomorrow. We, our uh, ultimate goal here is to cut that bondage, to cut that wrong bondage. So before that, find out if there's anyone in your life, that type of bondage. Write it down. Meditate and write it down. Let's see the counseling technique tomorrow. Stay tuned. May the Lord God bless you. Thank you.